Good evening guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin evening wrap. Um, so if you guys don't mind smashing that like button and we will go straight over to those Bitcoin charts. So here we are. We are at that at that level, at that 70, basically in our box of resistance area. Um, have just had a wick bill above it, um, but now back in it. So, um, yeah, I actually did forget to post that trade um, on my uh, trading view. Um, do you know, obviously, if you guys see how you can post the trades on, it was when we were down here. I was like, basically, you buy at this level, uh, have your stop up under here. Um, so that's your risk, um, but your target, this is basically you take profit up here. And yeah, what that would have been an incredible trade. I don't I think from the point I said, it didn't even go offside at all. Um, and then, yeah, pretty much went up. Um, well, actually, not far off a 1,000 points. Sorry, not far off 2,000 points. So, um, yeah, good trade, good trade. Um, so, yeah, um, but like I said, I did. I, I, it's, it's like I'm not in the habit of putting these trades on uh, TradingView. If you guys have noticed, I don't post them on a lot, but um, I kind of said quite a few, and then I just don't actually post them. But, hey, um, there we go. Um, it was the predictable price action, break above there, back test, and then... Um, Move to the upside as long as we get as long as we get supported as long as we take out this high here then yeah I mean realistically we're gonna come all the way back up well not all the way back well yeah all the way back up we've been here before but yeah all the way up to this level and um, we had a nice a little back test as well a nice little bull flag that was forming here um, which we did speak about the bull flag this morning as well um, which was um, supported literally a back test of the breakout level so breakout back test and then breakout from that level back test and then breakout so. Um, you watch enough markets. These are the sorts of things you look for because you just know. Um, that's what that's what um bigger bigger players are looking for. So you kind of um you see the footprints of um of their moves and what they do, and that's why the markets uh, move in the way that they do. Um, so yeah, so yeah, Bitcoin obviously looking good here. I mean, you got, I, I I couldn't have made it any more clear over the past few weeks what my views are about this level. Um, I am talking about trading in this zone um, into next year. So even if we get like even if we get like a daily break, daily candles, a couple of daily candles closing above here, I do think we then come back down and get back into this zone. It's not like we can't trade. Well, we've already traded above it. It's not like we can't um, yeah trade above. Um, it's that I think um, that will only really be on a wick basis for a, a longer, a larger time frame candles. Um, and that we will trade in this range, but uh, this is the point. Um, this is the point where everyone holds the breath to, um, and thinks, "Well, <laughs> well, um, who's right? Is Dan right? Is all the bulls right?" Um, that basically think we're just going to blast off to twenty plus k. The amount of message I've been getting today from people that are in crypto that are just like so excited, thinking we're going straight to twenty k, and I'm just like, "All right then, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see." And and like I said, anyway, we may we may go straight to twenty k. Uh, and beyond but like i said i don't think that is the likely scenario given the current parameters and if the dxy um does break down from this level pretty sharply and comes down to well starts making its way down to here then i mean i've already said that i think we'll be over 20k if we do that so um yeah i mean if that happens <laughs> if this then that um so yeah that's um that's just how markets work um, they're all, they, we are clearly interrelated. Um, the uh, tail is not wagging the dog yet. Bitcoin is the tail that is clearly getting wagged by the dog of the um, overall markets. Um, but yeah, um, obviously, whilst we're on the DXY, you can see, had that moved down, a nice little bounce off the level. Um, we're potentially looking at a move up to, to back test this level, but not made it yet, but hey, we may do. Um, but um, it is looking particularly weak is what I will say. Um, so um, I would be expecting um, this level to come down, uh, this, level, this price to come down to test this level and um, play in this zone a bit and potentially come further down. Um, so far as falling out the uh, rising wedge, um, basically met the target near enough. This is pretty much the bottom of the wedge is pretty much the target. We pretty much got there. So, um, yeah, good to see that plan pattern um, play out. So no doubt that was um, instrumental in Bitcoins um, moving to the upside. But also you'd have to remember when we were, were on this date here, um, <clears throat> sorry, when, when the dollar was um, lower than we are now, on the 1st of September, um, <clears throat> we just have a look where Bitcoin was um, on that date. Um, we were... <laughs> uh, first, oh, God, it's further back than that, isn't it? 1st of September. Um, yeah, we were... We were, um, we were basically... Um, actually... Um, actually here. 
So we had that low um, and Bitcoin was only at 12,000. So we're not even dollar index wise. We're not anywhere near as low. Obviously, we then did work our way up a bit and Bitcoin did come down and had a nice move down. Um, but yeah, um, obviously, we're nowhere near um, that same level here. And we're actually not as low as the DXY was at that point. So um, read into uh, read into that what you were. It's not always necessarily one to one and um, fully, fully. Uh, linear relationship between them all the time between different points but there are obviously factors that play uh, for other factors in play but yeah bitcoin bitcoin clearly looking good but what i would read from that is a is a source of bearish divergence on the basis that when the dollar index was lower um bitcoin was a certain level and now the bit now bitcoin is higher yet the dollar index isn't isn't lower so um the dollar index isn't as low as it was yet bitcoin is higher um so that could indicate that bitcoin has got overextended in its move relative to the um the dollar index and is an off sorts um hidden bearish um divergence between bitcoin's price at this level in the dxy and bitcoin's um higher price at this higher level in the dxy obviously higher being inversely um inversely correlated um to bitcoin so obviously higher being like potentially lower so it's like a higher bitcoin with a lower um lower level um <clears throat> so yeah um <laughs> anyway <laughs> i hope you guys understood what, what i was what i was just talking about then um but yeah anyway yeah so bitcoin on a nice trend nice trend moved all the way up i mean are we going to blast through here come and take out 20k i mean yeah like i said like i said everything's always always if, if buts and maybes probabilities and statistics and clearly we clearly um we can do that and um, i just want to draw some draw some levels in here clearly we can do that um but i personally um just based on everything I'm looking at, I don't necessarily think that that is the is the most likely scenario. Um, but if we do, oops, if we do, um, this is pretty much um, the zone that we will be is pretty much be the zone that we'll be looking at um, <clears throat> up here. Um, so yeah, that 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 would be our next level. So if I'm wrong, the dollar keeps breaking down. Um, we do end up into this zone here and um, this will be the new resistance level um, I believe um, and um, that will obviously is basically Bitcoin's all-time high all 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 time high not yearly high not um, not by yearly high I was I should have said monthly high not monthly high not yearly in a high just basically Bitcoin's all-time high so yeah I mean we could break into here start trading in here um, we shall we shall see we shall see and like i said we can have a wick basis into here then get slammed back down and that i am basing off this um five day and weekly incoming nine obviously five day nine we're on weekly that's going to come actually in five days um so um so yeah i mean if you if you want to base that off the nine off the weekly nine i mean you could you could say that's going to get us um get us up to up to this level so it, it may well it may, may it may well do so um, yeah, Bitcoin has clearly got momentum, but but markets don't always move in the same direction. Um, for um, <laughs> basically, don't move up, don't move up constantly. Uh, what am I trying to even say? Get me distracted by my my Telegram messages. Um, markets don't move in the same uh, move continuously in the same direction. They they basically change direction. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at some of the. Other, I mean, what an obvious thing to say. Uh, let's look at the market stocks. Um, look like they're stalling out here. I mean, we know that I got it's four hour nine. Um, if it wants to load, um, yeah, pretty much here. Been sideways to down since then. Um, but yeah, we're in this level. Um, also, um, if we have a look at Nasdaq, we haven't been looking at Nasdaq too much. Um, Nasdaq, um, um, Nasdaq. Um, yeah, I mean, it's looking like it wants to try and trade higher, um, but obviously it's going to start have to start making a move. Um, otherwise, if we do lose steam up here, and then yeah, I mean we're just in a in this sort of zigzag fashion, similar to what we were in um, <clears throat> what was it now? <laughs> uh, gold and silver, I believe. Um, and yeah, we've got to see what see what happens with those. Um, Bitcoin dominance, as you can see. Um, well, here we where we have it. We had this level, this next level of rejection um, that we had drawn in. Um, <clears throat> we looked like we were looking good for a break of the trend line. In all fairness, we were, we hadn't turned bearish. We did actually draw in this level as next potential level of resistance. This high, we did wick above, take it out. 
if we are, I know this is a Bitcoin dominance chart, so it's not necessarily, I don't believe, as easy to trade as um, as like a, it's not like it's a, an actual asset where you can buy and sell at this level. It is like obviously a basket of everything against Bitcoin. But um, if I was charting this and looking at this, <clears throat> If I, yeah, if I was looking at this, this looks like a push-up, um, a liquidity hunt, um, basically, to the upside again, and then we're going to come back down. If I actually do one minus, because people are more used to looking at, um, at used to looking at, um, um, at um, charts that are potentially bullish. Um, I don't know why that's done that. Um, can I just undo this? Um, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> we'll try that. <laughs> we'll try that one more time. Um, I believe we'll try that one more time. Um, <clears throat> but either way, you'll be able to get what I mean, If even if I can't. It's just because Bitcoin started doing this annoying thing now. Um, I don't really know why. One minus. <clears throat> Let's do it. Right, so yeah. Right, if I was looking at this as a potential low... Um, and were we gonna were we gonna turn around from this point? Um, I would look at it as um, we had this low, we had this low here, and um, we've come back and tested it again. We've wicked below that low, um, wicked below that low to, as a liquidity hunt, took out the stops that people are gonna have below here. Um, <clears throat> and now, if we can start to basically bounce from here, get to anywhere up to around the mid range of this move down, um, <clears throat> and above, sorry, above the mid range of the move down, I would then look for that to be a potential reversal in the market. Um, so basically a move above there and then and yeah, then onwards and onwards and upwards So looking at that as like a looking at when we buy this um, which obviously we're looking at the inverse <clears throat> this does look like um, How I see a lot of markets bottom you have the initial big push down you sort of stabilize get people think we're going back up have one last liquidity hunt below um, and then um, reverse pretty quickly and start to go back up so that is um, a, a very um, potential scenario um, for Bitcoin dominance, and that would probably, probably play into what I'm saying about how Bitcoin um, will potentially stay in this range. And if we all know pretty much the rule of thumb, and Bitcoin basically trades sideways, and <clears throat> that's when alts do well. Um, when Bitcoin um, goes on with big mad runs to the upside, that's when alts don't do well, and that's basically what's been happening. So, have we done it? Have we got it? Are we at the level? Are we basically, have we put in the high for BTC.D? Um, potentially, potentially we have. Let's have a look at Ethereum, our main um, bellwether. Oh, and let's just have a look how bad Ethereum is looking. Um, well, yeah, you can see, um, actually, Ethereum didn't make a a low relative to bitcoin compared to the rest of the altcoin market so <clears throat> that's obviously good shows bitcoin stronger than the, the, the overall sorry so ethereum is stronger again relative to bitcoin than the overall alt market uh, but then that's probably what we uh, expected anyway and um, but yeah i mean i mean like like i've been saying if we're gonna if we are gonna try and reverse this market we've got to do it pretty sharply now um, and i do think we have got potential to but i am biased by my view on bitcoin if you think bitcoin's going onwards and upwards from 80 to 18k to 20k then this you would expect this to come down lower lower um but um yeah i mean as you guys know i'm not necessarily expecting that um <clears throat> the dollar value though dollar value ethereum obviously looking good uh, looking good. Um, I think we basically had this target, didn't we? Um, from a breakout of this pennant, it was a nice initial move, a back test of the of basically um the level here, and then well, it's not quite it's back test of this horizontal, but we didn't we were already above this horizontal, but um yeah we tested it um and yeah moving up to the next level which is this one um and. And then potentially into the 500s. But I do think if any of the alts, even if Bitcoin dominance basically trades sideways, some of the better alts are probably going to perform. Ethereum being one of the better altcoins. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll watch out, we'll watch out for that. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I believe we are at, I believe we are at an inflection point. Uh, an inflection point between um, um, this um, move um, continuing or not continuing to basically blast into 20k plus or just to range in sideways between where we are and 14k, which to a lot of you probably seems a million miles away now um but it obviously isn't um but yeah um but yeah so that that is that is all i've really got to say today guys in all fairness um but yeah thanks for listening remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will speak to you guys again in the morning